tonight, divisions within NATO over cluster bombs for Ukraine. Good evening. Rishi Sunak says the UK will continue to play its part and support Ukraine, but discourages the use of cluster bombs. It comes after Washington decided to send the weapons to the Ukrainian military. The BBC's security correspondent, Frank Gardner, has more. A BBC presenter has been accused of paying a teenager for sexually explicit photographs beginning when they were 17. The claims in the Sun newspaper allege the unnamed male presenter had paid the teenager tens of thousands of pounds. It's understood the BBC is looking into the allegations and the star is not scheduled to be on air in the coming days. Lizo Nzumba reports. Our news correspondent Lizo Mzumba with that report there. Now time for some of the day's other news. The family of an eight-year-old girl who was killed when a car crashed in Wimbledon on Thursday has said she was adored and loved by everyone. More needs to be done to address links between online gaming and gambling, according to academics. Researchers at Glasgow University have concerns about some of these online spaces. Sean O'Neill reports. Time to take a look at the day's sport now. And at Wimbledon, Carlos Alcaraz has beaten Nicholas Jarry by three sets to one to reach the round of 16. Top seed Alcaraz is bidding to win Wimbledon for the very first time. Meanwhile, it was a disappointing evening for Andy Murray last night. He's out of Wimbledon after a second round defeat and says he doesn't know if he'll return to the competition. Keradine Edsan reports. And it's day two of Transmit, Scotland's biggest music festival. Tens of thousands of fans have been arriving at Glasgow Green throughout the day and in a couple of hours they'll see Kasabian and Sam Fender take to the main stage. We've been meeting some of the gig goers. Let's look at the weather now and here's Derek. And the edit is up next with some more on Transmit. But that's all from us and the Seven Team tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.